Okay, I think this piece is finished. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I think this might be a masterpiece. I'll just set it over here on the easel. Wow, I love it! Ooh, bubbles! I think I deserve a bit of a reward! Yes! Look how many there are! I love bubbles! Hey! I'm that oops! I knocked that painting off! Oh! It was my masterpiece! The best I've ever done! Wait a second, bubbles? This gives me a great idea! I've got a plastic bottle, I'm gonna cut off the top. And now I'll stretch a little net over the opening. Next up, I'll pour soap into this glass tray. That should be enough. Now to dip the net end into the soap. Now the soap has stuck to the nut. Time to add some paint to it. I'll drip some blue. Some red, too. And then yellow, of course. Primary colors, check. And now it's time to start blowing some bubbles. I'll just make sure I'm close to the canvas. And now I'll pop some of these bigger ones. There we go! I think the work is done. Hey, what do you think about this? Whoa! How did you do that? I just took inspiration from your bubble. I made it for you. Thank you so much, Grandpa. I love it. Bubbles are truly great. <laughs> okay, this spot looks substantial. Yeah? The trees, nature, what have you. The heat is on! You bet. I don't know. What? Hey, stop looking at mine! Whatever, fine. I'll be over here then. What can I paint? Bingo! He's adorable! I hope David didn't see him. I saw it first! Uh-huh. May the best bird painter win! A few skillful circles can go a long way. Just have to know where to add the lines. Nice, right? But some color will really make it pop. Yellow is such a happy color, isn't it? It's perfect for such a cheerful guy. <laughs> And how about some green? Such a peaceful hue. And add some blue for a real treat for the eyes. Doing the edges first is always best. It really rounds things out, doesn't it? Almost done. Just a couple of finishing touches. And that's how it's done, folks! A true masterpiece! Don't you agree? <laughs> yep, I'm pretty pleased. <laughs> what is that? I just needed an extra hand. Turns out, a hand is all you really need. Well, that and a few strategically placed dots and lines. Can you see the bird face yet? Don't worry, it'll all come together soon. These branches ought to give it away. And here are its cute little feet. A little greenery? I think it's quite peaceful. Can you see the bird now? I'm just so creative, aren't I? Well, if you really want to see it… Not too shabby. Oh. <laughs> I guess they're both pretty great! Should we ask the teacher? Seriously? I hope he's okay. Seems like he's just fast asleep. Hey! Ooh! All done, huh? <laughs> oh, great job. Now just give me, uh, five more minutes. Alrighty then. My perspective looks good. Alright, I think I'm done. Better compare it to the original. <laughs> oh, this didn't turn out at all. There he is. I'll just sneak up on him. <laughs> He's gonna love this. Oh, what's that? Ooh, that's rough. He must be having a rough day. <laughs> oh, look at those lights over there. That gives me a great idea. I've got this box frame, so I'll need to open it. Now I've got this little fairy light. I'll stretch them around inside the box frame. 
And done! Time to return back! Wow! This is great! Grandpa? Lights in a box? What's the point? Oh, Grandpa, come on! Let me show you! Take a picture and put it on top of the glass! Oh, I see! Wow! Look at it glow! I get it! It's a tracing box! Now you can recreate that picture! Alright, time to give this another try! I can just follow all the lines that show through! Wow, this is working so well! It's almost easy! I've just got to finish the last little details! There we go, that should do it! A masterpiece at last! And all I needed was a frame and some lights! Thank you so much for your gift! You're welcome! Heads. And I know just the thing. Complimentary hues for the win! <laughs> but it's still missing something. But what? Ugh, this ball is so dinky. Whoa! That thing's blowing my mind! Mom! Oh, not now. Okay. You still have a lot of pain left. Which leaves room for me to play! Thank you! I just don't know what to do. Okay, I'll try a little. Hey! Where did my paint palette go? David? Is that you? Excuse me? Look! I did this! I call it pond water. Uh-huh. Oh, I know. You want to face paint? Give it a try, David! Whoa! Again! <laughs> Fun, right? You can say that again! Yeah? What if I use my finger, too? Incoming! Ha! Blue dots coming in, people! But now for my favorite color! Woohoo! <laughs> That's it! Look, mom! Well, isn't this incredible? But let's try one more trick. Symmetry can sure be beautiful! And to prove that to be true, you created it all on your own! It's a gorgeous butterfly! This line will really make it come to life! Along with the outline of the wings. Other side. There. Just admire this pure beauty. And that's just the beginning, son. Painting, you might be my most favorite one of all time. Ah, Grandpa, watch out! Don't knock over another one of my paintings! Seriously, that could have been a disaster. What if he had actually brushed against it? Oops! Look at that! I got paint all over my suit jacket! Oops! My painting! No! Oh, what a nightmare! I couldn't stand it if that had happened. Oh, I think I've got another great idea! Excuse me, Gramps. I'm gonna need this. Okay, I've got the hairspray. Now to put it to work. I'll just add a layer to my painting. It's gotta be enough to actually coat it all, though. There! Now that it's dry, it's completely protected! Look! No paint came off at all! <sighs> it's finally safe from grandpa mishaps. Oh! Hey, you are right! It worked! There's nothing on my jacket! Phew! Good thing I thought ahead. My painting is safe and sound. Uh, what the heck is going on with her now? I really don't get her. What's she doing with those towels? Hi, yeah, we're still here, remember us? Well, okay, fine then. Here, have this flamingo. Oh, a flamingo. Okay, this should be fun. I'm gonna go with my favorite method and trace my hand. Okay, good. Now to rotate my paper. This bird is gonna need a head for sure. And then of course his big beak. Okay, eye is done. Now for the wings. And can't forget his long legs. Now for the color. Can't have a flamingo with some pink. He's gonna be so pretty when I'm done. I just know it. Just keep coloring. Just keep coloring. Just a little bit more and… done! Let me see. Gotta make sure to get the scale right. Eh, I'll just wing it. <laughs> that 
That was a pretty good pun, if I say so myself. Okay, he looks something like this, I think. Okay, sure, that's a flamingo, I guess. Phew, that refreshing bath was just what I needed. What do you got? Ew, what is that? Some sort of weird chicken? Aw, yeah, sorry, I have to agree with her. Yours looks very nice, though. You win the flamingo challenge, congrats! Yes! I won one all on my own. Listen, don't feel so sad. I'll share, of course. Here! Thanks! This does help me feel better. Almost done stacking my foods. No! It's falling! Shoot! I'm so bad at this. Wait, is that paint up there? Yeah! It is paint! And an easel! She left them out. I'm gonna do some art. Is she around? I don't wanna get caught. Nope, the door's shut. Time for painting! I like this pink color. It's pretty. I'm so good at painting. The best, even. All right, got the supplies I need. What? The heck? <laughs> Hi! Look, I'm painting. Isn't it good? Um, sure. I guess so. What am I gonna do? He's already ruined the canvas? Yes! I think I've got a solution! Alright, I've got the canvas. A perfect A. Time for some paint. I'll use the color he used. Blue over here. I need more blue and some yellow. All the colors! Time to do some cleaning with the sponge. Just kidding. This is part of the art. I want to use the sponge to dab at all the paint colors. It's okay if I get some on the tape. Turns out doing this dabbing is pretty fun. But it's not really all that quick. Not if you want to do it well anyway. Phew! There we go! I finally covered the canvas with all the paint! Here I go! Pulling off the tape! It comes right off! Wow! It looks amazing! It turned out great! Wow! You're my favorite! Yes, you are! Oh, right. The challenge. Um, draw Mr. Kitty, I guess. Oh, okay. I love drawing cats. I just love cats in general. It's gonna be great! What is she doing? Is she just writing the word cat? What? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna win this one for sure. Okay, time to use my kitty drawing skills. I'll start with a circle. Cats can be round, of course. Especially if he's a chonky boy. Hmm. Where should I go from here? Time to turn my word into something even better. I'll start with this little face. Can't forget the whiskers, of course. Okay, head is done. A big long swoop for his back and his tail. So cute! Whoa! Good job! Let me see your kitty. Ta-da! Here's my finished kitty! And, well, I guess here's mine too. I got distracted. Eh, <laughs> well, you can't win with unfinished art. So, the winner's obvious. Wow, I did it! Me and my kitty won another round! Yes! Cookies! I love cookies! Ah, uh, how did this yarn get tangled? Wow! Grandma, look! Ah! <laughs> your yarn did. Wait, the yarn? The yarn! Of course! It's already in the paint after all. I'm gonna do this. All right, the black paint is on the canvas. And now for some gold-painted yarn. I've draped it across the canvas, and I'll do some more over here. There we go. All around the entire piece. Next up, I'll need to tape down the unpainted yarn ends. Ready? Time to pull up the canvas! Here we go! The yarn's coming right off! This is an amazing piece of artwork you created! You're definitely grandma's best artist! It's the best painting I've made! A rose under any name still smells as sweet. All right, yeah, it's flower drawing time! Huh. Oh no, my paint is totally tacky! Shoot, what am I gonna do now? I need art supplies! Let's see, which color should I start with? Pink, of course! No, you can't borrow this one. I need it. Please! My page is all tacky and too dry! I said no! You'll have to figure something out on your own. Now, how do I want to draw my rose? I want it to be beautiful. Okay, yeah. I think that'll work nicely. Ugh. I can't believe she wouldn't share with me. She's so mean. I'm getting myself all worked up over this. I need to breathe. Whoa. I'm feeling a little lightheaded after that. Huh? What happened to my bag? Great, there's paint all over it. Get off, paint! I said get off! <laughs> what the? 
Keep your paint on your paper, please. Huh? Use the bag to apply the paint. Oh! Oh, okay, got it! I guess I'll just dab it like she said. There's one. Maybe another one over here? No way! These are turning out great! Who knew? Let's see, what else can I do? I know! Where's she off to? Eh, doesn't matter. She can do what she wants. Just gonna borrow this. <laughs> Yoink! Yes! Okay, I've got the paintbrush. Time to finish up my art. Can't have flowers without pretty leaves to go with them. Time's up. Let me see your rose artwork, please. Okay, I'm ready. Here's my picture. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, but no, it's not. Hers is, though. That's amazing! It is. And that's why she's the winner for this round. Yes! I want another one! I can't believe it! Ooh, candy! My favorite! Look! Yes, congratulations. <sighs> she's so pretty. Time to see if I can impress her with my talent. I'll start with this blue. But I'll also need other colors, too. Definitely gotta fill this heart with pink, of course. There! She's gotta get the message from this painting. I wonder if she'll like it. You made that for me? Oh, get it out of here! Ouch! Nope. I don't want that reaction. Yeah, this is garbage. Wait, what? Oh no! I've got paint all over my hands! This day is not going like I thought it would. Better wash the paint off before I make a mess. Definitely gonna need some soap for this. Wait a second. Wow! Look at this! The suds are colored with the paint! Time to redeem myself! I've got my bowl of water and my dish soap. And of course, I have to add some paint, too. Time to mix this together with a popsicle stick. There we go. It's getting a little sudsy. But I need more bubbles. Time to add some air with a straw. Wow! Look at all of these bubbles! They just keep coming! All right, so long, straw. Now to add the paper onto the bubbles. Just like that. Wow! The bubbles appeared on the paper. Hi! I made you this card. You made this for me? Wow! I love it! It's so beautiful! Oh my gosh! Wanna walk me to class? It totally worked! Hmm. Which pencil should I use? Blue or green? Look at her. I love you. I'll see you later in my dreams. Whoa! A snail. Cool. Who spins the wheel? I win! Ugh, I was convinced I would win! Come on! No hands? Again? Oh well, I suppose I can do it. Here I go! Maybe I can help. There! Hey! You're doing it wrong! But how? Oh well, I'll give it a go. Close your eyes. Why are you acting weird? Fine. Luckily I have this blindfold. How do I look? Perfect. This is harder than it seems. You're amazing. I mean, you're doing amazing. I should kiss her. Wait, I can't forget this. You're kidding me! I spent twenty dollars on this. So stupid. Although… I better be quick. Get out of here! Who needs expensive flowers when you have a pen? Just create your own! It's more romantic this way. Just a stem and it's done! I hope she likes it. I have no idea what I've drawn. It's actually pretty good. I mean, it's a snail. I drew something. <laughs> For me? You're much prettier than any rose. You're embarrassing me, but it's so romantic. Challenge. Draw me a butterfly. Okay, I can do this. I know I can. Or maybe I can't? Wait, no! I've got a good idea now. This should totally work. I'll just start by tracing the shape of this roll of tape. <laughs> that rhymed. Okay, that should be good enough. Now I need another one here. It's not that hard, tracing. But I still don't want to mess up. Oh, like that. 
Huh? What's she doing? Oh, I get it! That's smart! <laughs> but while she's doing that, I've got my own tracing plan. Here's the cute picture of the butterfly she wants us to draw. I can just put this paper over the tablet. And now I can just trace the picture like this. Wings are done. Now onto the body and head. Oh, the antenna! Time to make these wings absolutely gorge! This yellow and pink really go well together. I like them a lot. Whoa! How did you even do that? Stop! Time to reveal me your artwork. Okay, well, I, I went with a caterpillar. Oh. Well, she has an actual butterfly picture. Nice work. Yeah, but look! My caterpillar metamorphosized! Oh, well, color me impressed. You're both winners. Yes! I love it when we both win. That's the best! Look, we got gum this time, and we don't even have to share! Yay, we're winners! Okay, time for the next challenge. Oh my gosh, a unicorn! I'm so happy! Whoa, dial it back a little. I need to hang out with new people. What are you doing, Chris? <laughs> I'm Princess Sparkles, ruler of the Rainbow Kingdom. Sure, this is a different look for you. Stop. You're ruining this. Let's spin the wheel. This is so awesome! No hands? No problem. Here goes. I'll put mine behind my back. That's actually a good idea. Hmm, I thought this would be more difficult. Not bad. Finished! What do you think? That's certainly… something. What do you know about art? I'll show you how to draw a unicorn. Let me just check the scale. Oh, yeah, I, I always check the scale. Definitely a unicorn. What's he doing now? Hmm, I think I have a plan. This should make things easier. Start with a sheet of grid paper. And start to draw the unicorn. It may look a bit funny at this stage, but trust us. That looks good. Once the outline is done, start to fill in the middle. This is a really good way of drawing something with a lot of detail. Using grid paper allows you to scale up drawings. And it helps to make drawings easier. Time to add color. If only coloring in was this easy. Let's get some more colors in the horn. I told you we knew what we were doing. There! My own unicorn! Check this out! It's good, right? How did you do that? I mean, mine has colors in its hair. <sighs> At least you tried. I know. One, two, go! Oh, close! I'll solve this with a spin of the wheel. Who was that? Oh, that was so weird. Oh, look at the wheel! What? Oh, wow! This might be tricky. <laughs> mm, stop! What? Let's make it interesting. One, two, three, go! This is tense. Oh no! My pencil! It's okay, I have another. This isn't going well. <laughs> Oh, come on! Huh? Oh, unlucky. I don't have time for this! Uh, this is taking too long! Uh, I need to hurry! Time's almost up! Ugh, get out of here! Hey, keep your garbage away from my art! Although, this might be useful. I'll start by drawing a ballerina. This'll look great! She looks so graceful. And I'll use the pencil shavings as the tutu. I'm really happy with this. Hey, Ashley. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I wasted so much time! But I can still finish my drawing! Just give me a moment! Ugh, careful! Okay, that's it! What do you think? It's good, isn't it? Great job! Look at the timer! We did it! Put it there. Well done. I've got a good feeling about this one. A love heart! It's so cute! Let's see who spins the wheel. I'm great at thumb wars. Yes! I won! Oh, so close! 
please don't be bad. No paper. <laughs> but how am I supposed to draw? Guess you'll need to figure that out. Watch this. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle. And another one. Then some lines at the top and bottom. And now for the sides of the heart. The pencil makes great guidelines for when we start to use ink. Once the basic shape is done, use an eraser to remove the guidelines around the edges. Then grab a pen and just follow the lines. It creates a great 3D effect. Now to add the color, remember to stay inside the lines. Once that's done, add shadowing to the inside edges. A regular pencil is fine for this. Just add to anywhere you think there would be a shadow, or where you think the light would be different. It's a different way of drawing a love heart, but it looks so impressive. That's it! <laughs> what do you think? Wow! I mean, it's okay. What can I use? I know! My hands! It's pretty basic. There must be something I can do. Got it! A tiny heart! Huh? How about this? <laughs> it's a heart! No, it isn't. Sorry. Okay, now what do you think? <laughs> Just give up! I know I can do this! Come on, fingers, don't let me down! I think I figured it out! I just need a red pen! Place one finger on top of the other, then draw a love heart. Then simply use a red pen to fill it in. It's not too bad. I like it. Or should I say, I love it. But I'm not finished. Let's add a smiley face. And you need another one for true love. How romantic! Look! Seriously? Aw, that's so cute! Hold on, I have an idea too! Don't ruin it. It'll be great! There! They're <laughs> hugging! I think I'm gonna cry! It's so sweet! Roll them! Aw, I lost. Woohoo! It's my turn to spin! I wonder what we'll get. Ooh, surprise! Whoa! There's so many things to choose from! Oh, I thought it was candy. What is it? You use it to draw. Ah, got you! Like this? It's fun! What do you think? Uh, okay. Use it like this. It'll make a spiral. All you have to do is move the pen. The circles do the rest. I could do this all day. It looks so cool. Okay, let's try a different color. See? It's creating a different pattern. <laughs> I don't need these anymore. Now that looks good. It's so hypnotic. Ashley? Are you okay? Yoo-hoo! Hey, snap out of it! <laughs> I know! This might be loud! <sighs> this has to work! Seriously? I'm all out of ideas. Oh. This feather might be handy. Wakey wakey! Achoo! What happened? Oh yeah, my pretty circles! <laughs> uh, they look great! 